Jane from Over Reborns 13, and I am here with my twin A. Her name is Raven. She is the um, twin A by Bonnie Brown, and she was reborn by Weeby Dolls Wendy. Um, and yeah, so I'm here. She's actually in this beautiful dress. Um, I've had her in it for like about a week or so, and it just looks so cute, but I decided it's time to change her into something else. Um, so I'm going to be putting her in a nice little sleeper. It's a, <coughs> excuse me, a Gerber Organic. It's a newborn size. It's really pretty. It's got pink with like a heathered gray bunny, um, some embroidered white stars, and these really cute like gray ruffles. So um, first thing I wanted to show you guys though, I do have a small little happy mail that came. And I apologize. I've been kind of MIA for a little while. I've just been really busy this past week. Um, so I haven't posted up a video in a little while. So this is actually a little bit overdue, this little happy mail. Um, so I apologize to my friend. Um, my buddy actually, Reborn Smiles of Joy, she's over on Instagram. Um, she sent me, uh, <coughs> excuse me, personalized pacifiers for two of my girls. So this one is for Raven. Let me see if I can get that to like... There we go. For Raven and one for Willow. Willow is my silicone. Um, and then Raven, of course, is right here. So thank you so much, buddy. Um, I've been loving them. They fit really well on the girls. So I wanted to show you guys that, but she went ahead and got me some adorable pacifiers. So, um, so yeah, I, yeah, like I said, it's just been really, really busy. Didn't really have any, like, major topic to talk about today. Although I guess one new th one thing to kind of come up that I thought was interesting. Um, the conversation of it, something just kind of came up where I, I did see a doll I was and I've been contemplating it. Um, I know I said I wouldn't get any more dolls, which is why I've been incredibly contemplating it and trying really hard not to get another doll. Um, but this kind of struck a conversation for me where um, this particular doll I'm looking at kind of looks similar to one of my reborns currently in the nursery. Um, just kind of has features that to me look very similar. Um, and so my thinking was, well, if I already have a doll that looks similar to her, why, why get this other doll if it reminds me of one I currently have? And then I was kind of thinking about that. I'm like, gee, you know, I wonder what, kind of what other collectors think like so if you if you see a sculpt I'm just gonna lift her for a second so I can put this down if you see a doll that's reborn and you absolutely love it and you love the sculpt and all of that but for some reason it reminds you of a current doll in your collection do you stay away from getting this new doll because it's similar to a doll in your collection do you not care that it's similar to a doll in your collection? Do you go ahead and get it anyway? What are your thoughts on that? I'm just kind of thinking about it. I don't really know how I feel about it. I think um, in my head I'm thinking, you know, these these dolls are very expensive. And, I mean, we all know that the, who collect, it, you know, this hobby isn't exactly, you know, a cheap hobby. You know, these dolls are an investment. And so I think of, like, when I get dolls, there's certain looks I want them to have. Um... You know, I want them to be unique. Um, sorry, my neighbor is mowing the lawn next door. Um, I want them, this might be a little bit big on Raven. Let's just see when I button it up. Sometimes the organics I find run really big. Although I did wash this, I think I buttoned it wrong. That'd be why. Um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Okay. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, like, you know, they're, they're an investment in, you know, they do cost money. Um, so I kind of feel like for my collection, my, for me personally, I would prefer my dolls to all be unique and different. But yeah, if it's something like a, a certain, oh, that looks pretty good on her. Oh, it's a little bit big on her, but we're going to go with it. I sometimes like it when sleepers look really big on the dolls because it's just really cute. Okay, let me just get this to kind of go like that. There she is. Let's see her. Oh, there she is. I know I got the camera just a little bit too close to really see her. Kind of go like this up here. There she goes. Um, so I know everybody collects differently, and we all have different things we're looking for. I kind of wonder if for me, because they're such an investment, and I have a certain look I, I look for in, in a reborn, 
um, with each sculpt. I wonder if getting a doll that looks similar would make me feel like, oh, why do I have two that look similar? Like I, each of my dolls, I don't feel like any of my dolls look alike. So I'm kind of wondering if that's the sort of collector I am is where I want things to look different and not identical. Um, or I don't know, this is kind of the first time I'm really running into this. So I guess I'm curious guys in the comments, let me know what you think. Like if you see a doll out there that's available and it looks similar to a doll in your current collection, will you still go ahead and get that new doll? You know, because you love it and it's like awesome. Or will it actually deter you from getting that new doll because it's similar to a doll in your collection? So I'm really curious on what other collectors do because, to be honest, I really don't know. The only thing I can tell with me is I've one, I'm really trying not to get new dolls, so I know that's a big factor in me not buying this doll. I had said it in my last video. I told you guys I'm trying really hard not to get new dolls right now, so I really want to stick to that. Let me put her new little passy in. There she goes. Um. And I actually didn't even really need to modify this one. I might take a little bit off of the tip of this um, for the pacifier for her, but for now I'm kind of leaving it as is. Um, so I know like I'm, I'm really trying not to get dolls. So that's definitely on my mind that that could be the reason why I'm deterring from it because I have that mentality in my head of no, I don't want new, any more new dolls right now. I, I want to stay content with what I have. Or is it that maybe I really do want every single one of my dolls to look different and that is how I'm going to be as a collector. I don't know. So let me know what your thoughts are guys, but that was kind of the only thing that came up that seemed like kind of a pretty interesting topic to talk about. And otherwise, I thank you guys so much for joining me and Miss Raven. She's in this guy. She looks so cute. I just love this little girl. Um, and I will be, I'm going to be getting back into making my videos. I know, I've, I've, like I said, I've been a little away for a little bit, about six days I haven't posted. Um, it's just been really crazy busy, so I'm getting back into it, guys. So anyway, thank you so much for being here and seeing Miss Raven. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.